Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Okay, what is Quick time events. Ah, okay, ich sollte sollt also mal die Controller schon mal in die Hand, in die Hand kriegen. Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Oh, heads up! Yeah, honey, nice catch! Thank you? Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gone lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. <laughs> well, just another yeah. guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Pick me up. Uh, voila! <coughs> what is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road! Ich wollte auch gerade sagen, guck auf die Straße, ey. Was sitzt denn jetzt hier? Das habe ich gerade wirklich was Evil Dead mäßiges, ne? Ich meine, jetzt hat man noch lange Zeit gehabt für die quick time events Ich glaube, sie wollen dann wirklich nur trainieren. Dass wenn es nachher losgeht. Are you okay? Man ist auch yeah, gewöhnt. Ja, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, ich sehe es schon kommen, unzählige Playthroughs, bis wir What? wirklich alle gerettet haben. No, no, Max, I wasn't a bear. What was it? You know, it's a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we had a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh. I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me.
inventory unlocked interrupts objective grab the toolbox Oh, okay, das haben wir noch nicht entdeckt. Clues habe ich auch keine. Evidences habe ich auch keine. Ich wollte nur gerade so, ich wollte nur gucken, wo die Tutorials sind. Oh, weil ich war jetzt eben zu langsam, das zu drücken. If you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space even. Well, anywhere's better than here. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Alex, you're not the boss of me. I just don't want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, it better not be. I, I'm sorry, I, I really got to concentrate for a okay. second, okay? Yes. Look, I think there's someone down there, okay? What's that? They could be hurt. I'm gonna go check it out. Good idea, Laura. So thoughtful of you. Uh -oh. So, gucken wir mal. Irgendwie zurück können wir nicht. Oh, 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 das was? The Fool. Ah, Tarotkarten. The Fool, I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. Or recklessness and risk taking. Spontaneous. Tenity actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think and don't get burned. Okay. Geben die uns irgendwie Hinweise, dass wir gerade was Doofes machen oder was? Ich meine, ja klar, denn nachts im tiefen, dunklen Wald alleine rumzurennen ist halt eben auch, aber... Gut, es besteht ja Gefahr, dass sie jemanden angefahren haben. Oder zumindest denken sie das. <lacht> da ist was. What is this? This is a poster for a traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been uh, there for uh, what? There a while. Left forgotten in the woods. 
Are those burn marks are uh, are those burn marks around the edges? Ah, das kann man highlighten. Okay. Ich konnte es eben so schlecht lesen, weil da so hinten so dieses Verschwommene hinten dran ist. Ich dachte mehr und ich könnte es vielleicht eher noch untersuchen. Okay. Mysteriös. Ich hoffe, dass wir so früh im Game noch niemanden umbringen können. oder was? Scapology Trunk. A trunk filled with strange devices. That of an escapologist, perhaps. A relic of traveling show that must have passed through the area. A, a relic of a traveling show. That must have been passed through the area. Okay, wir haben ja schon dieses, dieses Poster gefunden, aber warum steht denn das jetzt einfach so im Wald rum, ne? Ich meine, das Poster, dass das mal irgendwie hängen, hängen geblieben ist und vergessen wurde, aber der Koffer hier. This decrepit cage has been engulfed with, uh, by the woods over time. It looks like an animal has nested here. Silas the dog boy. Silas the dog boy. Okay, dog boy. Das ist zu weird. Ah, also ich kann da nicht weiter untersuchen, okay. Silence. Huh.
Okay, das ging noch. Das ging noch. Wir sind also wahrscheinlich immer noch in der Tutorial-Trainingsphase. Hey, hey, why are you shouting? Ich dachte schon, den hätte jetzt zerrissen. Why? Aber er hat es aber anscheinend auch gehört, ne? What the hell was that? Ich wollte schon sagen, wenn das jetzt, wenn Laura die einzige ist, die das jetzt hören kann, wird es kritisch, das zu erklären. I did check it, and it was fine. Honey, I know you're on edge, but you gotta calm down, okay? I am not on edge, Max. I'm freaking the fuck out. It was probably just an animal or no, something. No, it wasn't an animal. You didn't see it. It was a woman. Lord, this isn't helping, all right? Go! Here we go. We're good. See? Please just get us out of here. Okay. Nee, oder? Max! I'm trying. I'm trying. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. <laughs> that Remy sieht cool aus, ne? down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just gonna be okay. Hals, oder? Kratzer oder? Na, na, Narbe? You folks want to tell me what happened here? Ah, interrupts. What's an interrupt? Let's can I see that? At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Ah, das ist also wie bei bei Until Dawn. Es wird zwar immer so eine Handlung indiziert, aber man muss äh, nichts, man muss nichts tun. Quick time events habe ich eben schon gelesen. Path chosen. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned. Some paths are more dangerous than others. Okay. Heißt also, kein, äh, kein Pfad ist jetzt ein absolutes Todesurteil, wie es ab und zu halt eben, ja, wie es bei Until Dawn oder anderen Games halt eben so ist. Äh, aber äh, es kann schwer werden, halt den oder diejenige zu retten, ne? Ja. Uh, sind wir ehrlich. We um uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and now here we are. Something jumped out. Uh, I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. Uh, they? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Ah, aber jetzt sieht. 
geht Max und Laura wenigstens aus der Scheiße raus. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. Was hat der da am Hals? You're not gonna make it to Haggett's quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem is. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Oh, oh shit. Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. Okay. Okay. So, we... Mm. are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? <laughs> well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Right. Irgendwie ist das sehr, sehr, ja, drauf bedacht, dass, dass wir da nicht hinfahren jetzt. Vielleicht sollten wir auf ihn hören. Aber er ist schon gruselig, ne? Aber er macht das richtig. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Also das mit dem Polizisten war jetzt fast noch gruseliger, gruseliger als das im Wald, ne? this guy just sitting there that guy was giving me major weirdo did you need it like at least a dozen shots oh my god i know what was up with the thing I did you see was, that? was it blood nice to meet you let's better that's her on you it's lost lima was it no man has überlegt Alright, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night, thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know, I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. Right? 
Seriously, do I look like a man to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a male. Mm-hmm. What? I, 20's debatable. Easy. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of into ma'am. Suck. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> <clears throat> Ich dachte, man könnte jetzt auswählen, vielleicht eine Route, ob man zu dem Hotel fahren oder zu, ähm, zu Hackett's Curry. You gotta be kidding me, there's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would that be an abandoned... I'll beat no. the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hat irgendwie wenig, wenig Angst um sie, ne? Lässt sie allein im Wald rumlaufen. Gut, okay, da hat das Auto auch repariert. Dann guckt, dass er rauskommt. Aber, äh, irgendwie so, ja, mach doch. Dunkler Wald. Gruselige Polizisten. Geistererscheinungen. Flüsterstimmen. Ja, nix, worüber man sich Sorgen machen müsste. Was, wenn ich hier durch das Fenster sehen kann, aber scheint nichts zu sein. Gehen wir nochmal hinten zu dem Fenster, weil sich da die Kamera verändert hat. Vielleicht muss ich nur im richtigen Winkel irgendwie reinleuchten oder sowas und... Äh hier sieht es ein bisschen so aus, als wäre hier Licht drin, ne? näher ran. Ja, kann ich, aber es nutzt mir nichts, ne? Hier ist eine Tasse. Auf dem Tisch liegt ein Buch, aber es ist jetzt irgendwie nicht, dass da jemand wäre, ne? Oder? Lord, there's no one here. Come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? Was liegt denn hier auf dem Tisch? Irgendwas liegt unter dem Buch. Irgendwas Metallisches sieht aus wie ein Schlüssel. Aber es sieht nicht so aus, als würde sie das erkennen. Es wird uns das gehighlightet, also. Egal. Vielleicht ist nur wichtig, dass wir es gesehen haben. Gehen wir nochmal runter zum Auto. Ich dachte nur, wenn sie jetzt den Schlüssel sieht, schmeißt man vielleicht das Fenster ein und kommt dann rein. Ein langer, dunkler Gang unterm Haus. Aber da ist noch was, irgendwas, irgendwas ist hier noch zu entdecken.
Bootshaus gibt's, Parkplatz. Da sind wir jetzt im Moment. Und das sind Kill You. Make you stronger. Wollen was hoffen. 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 Äh, ne, ich geh mir nochmal gucken, ob hier rechts noch irgendwas ist. Ne, hier ist der Zaun. Hier war doch noch ein Auto, der hat doch gesagt, hier steht ein verlassenes Auto. Hier scheint ich aber nichts gucken zu können an dem Ding, also werden wir wohl wirklich den, den Gang runtergehen müssen. Äh, lang gehen müssen. Vielleicht wollte er uns davor warnen. Vielleicht hat er das Vieh da unten eingesperrt. Damit wir erst den nächsten Tag hinkommen, wenn er es wieder weg... ...weggebracht hat. Okay, okay, so... You sure? It's gonna be super loud. So, someone's trapped. You've seen Evil Dead, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello? Nee, das ist halt, wenn jetzt auch äh, eben nach dem Erscheinen von Ted Raimi und nach diesem, äh, äh, nach diesem Kommentar ist wohl so diese, ähm, was ich eben schon sagte, dass das so ein bisschen Evil Dead Vibes hat, wohl auch, auch gewollt, ne, nicht nur, nicht nur Zufall. Hey, be careful. Bleib wirklich immer nur irgendwo sitzen. What are you doing? I'm just und denken sich, ja, I'm komm, mach du out. nur, ne? Das ist, ist, ist Laura echt eine ganze Ecke mutiger als er. Oh oh. Ian. Du hast noch was ums Eck liegt. Ne, anscheinend. <lacht> Prolog, äh. 
Lodge Storm Shelter. This bloodied collar looks like to, uh, looks too big uh, for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? <lacht> Scheiß, die waren da. Max? Der kommt nicht. Ist das Ian oder ist das was von Ian gefressen wurde? Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <coughs> Max? Oh, fuck. Max! Max hat's gerade erwischt. Max! Guess what? Help. Grüß dich. I think I'm bleeding a lot. Er hier. Ja, leck mich doch. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? Every little movement, every little thing you do. Ist gerade so in den letzten beiden Minuten alles tut. Total eskaliert. <lacht> Alter Schwede. Also, das war mal ein Anfang. Das war echt mal ein Anfang. friend welcome to the show we are friends aren't we i've waited for you i've waited yes so i do hope our time together proves enlightening there's no need to worry i'm here to help you think of me as your guide into the unknown it's exciting yes and terrifying but 
If you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. Cool, ja, die habe ich eben gefunden. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. Ja, jetzt lest dir auch nur wieder das vor, was eigentlich in dem Text von der Karte stand, ne? Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. Uh, yeah. This is so what might tell. come to pass: a possible future, a path yet unchosen. Look here. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Okay, it's wahrscheinlich so ein bisschen so eine Figur wie der wie der Doktor, äh, der Psychologe in, in, äh, in Until Dawn. Aber äh, es sieht wohl so aus, als hätte sie so, eine bisschen, so ein bisschen eine aktivere Rolle. Ah, gerade einen Moment. Ah, ich komme jetzt. Settings. Weil ich will nur gucken, ob der Streamer-Mode noch an ist. Ja, ist er. Damit ich nicht wieder irgendwie was wegen der Musik... Äh Wer bist denn du jetzt? Jacob. Eckensberry forever. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. Did you heard me? Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <laughs> so she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay. Quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. <laughs> uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. <lacht> ja, nee, äh, es ist sind sie auch dieselben Macher äh, wie von, von, von Until Dawn. Und ich bin jetzt auch nicht, noch, noch nicht lange noch nicht lange äh, drin, so eine, so eine ja, nicht, äh, nicht ganz eine Stunde. Aber was ich halt eben sehr, sehr cool finde, ist halt eben so dieser... Äh, soll ich sagen, 80er, 90er Movie-Style. Es hat ja auch eben so im, äh, im, 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 im Vorspann so ein bisschen ähm, was von, von, von Evil Dead, von den Filmen. Und äh, dadurch, dass Ted Raimi mitspielt, ist das wahrscheinlich auch kein Zufall, habe ich eben auch schon mal gesagt. 
Und, ähm, ja, ich mag auch so diese, diese Oberfläche, so dieses, äh, ja, wie es halt auf diesen, auf diesen Videobändern waren, wo man immer so diese Menüs einblenden konnte oder auf den alten Computern halt eben. Ähm, ist halt eben auch, auch sehr atmosphärisch. Man hat man ja so, wie, wie, wie es anfing, wie es halt eben so diese typischen Horrorfilme anfängt. Ja, sie verfahren sich irgendwie im Wald. Es, es kommt wie so, wie es bei, äh, ähm, ich weiß, was du letzten Sommer getan hast. Auf einmal jemand auf der Straße, sie müssen ausweichen oder sie fahren jemanden um und, und, und sowas. Man hat so irgendwie so be, bekannte Elemente, die einem halt schon mal schon relativ viel Spaß machen. Und dann ist was wie jetzt, wie jetzt eben dieses Ding. Äh, äh, wo irgendwas ganz krasses passiert und du bist nochmal komplett raus und äh, das finde ich bisher jetzt schon mal in der ersten Stunde schon mal eine sehr, sehr coole Mischung und bin echt gespannt, was dann noch so, so auf uns zukommt halt so die Steuerelemente sind halt eben auch so wie du, wie, wie du schon gesagt hast, so ein bisschen mit wie Until Dawn, man hat so zwischendurch halt immer jemanden, wahrscheinlich jetzt wieder jemanden sitzen wobei sie hier wohl eine aktive Rolle hat als der, äh, als der Psychologe in, in, in Until Dawn oder ähm als jetzt der Kurator in, in den ähm, äh, in der Dark Pictures Anthology. Sie sagt ja, ich hoffe, dass das kein. Weil, weil sie sagt ja auch, dass es hier viele Lügen gibt. Also hoffen wir mal, dass sie die Wahrheit sagt, wenn sie sagt, sie will uns helfen. Vielleicht ist es auch hier wieder so, äh, dass wir uns dagegen entscheiden. Aber so diese ähm, Steuerelemente mit Quicktime-Events und, und sowas ist halt eben schon. Ich glaube, sie haben so, so. Das, was halt in eben Until Dawn funktioniert hat, haben sie halt eben übernommen. Und haben nochmal so ein bisschen verbessert und eins draufgesetzt. Wie mit diesen Fool-Karten und mit allem anderen sind ja auch immer so, ähm, man hat ja auch in Until Dawn immer, äh, oder halt auch bei Dark Pictures, äh, Dark Pictures Anthology immer irgendwelche Elemente gefunden, die einem Hinweise geben oder hier Hinweise geben sollen, wie man, ähm, in gewissen Situationen entscheidet. <lacht> Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Good to know. <lacht> ja. Dann halt nett, ne? Aber ich hoffe, wir erfahren noch, was aus Laura geworden ist. Bei Tageslicht betrachtet sieht es ja eigentlich ganz schön aus, ne? Hier ist noch was. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. Ich bin mal gespannt, ob wir da in diesen einen Raum reinkommen. Wir konnten ja auf jeden Fall mit Laura in ein Fenster reinleuchten. Und da sah, war ja so ein Tisch und, ähm... Können wir mit ihr nochmal sprechen? Jake, Bags, Focus. Ja, aber... Kein sehr tiefgründiges Gespräch. Are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags <laughs> in there. Come on. Oh, with this shit. Thing. It's just Dylan, frozen. please. Hey. Sorry, bro. <sighs> cool. Thanks, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Wir sind auf uns gestellt. Was ist das hier? Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp was established way back in 1953 and it's going strong today, nearly 70 years on. Mm. 
wouldn't have. Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. <lacht> ja, aber haben wir, dass wir auch nur äh, viele kleine glückliche Unfälle haben. Das war das Fenster, genau. Das war auch der Tisch, wo das Buch lag. Und da sah es eben so aus, als würde da irgendein Schlüssel drunter liegen oder sowas. Oh, skill. <lacht> ja. Aber irgendwie... Ne, ich kann nur rein und rausklettern. Ich muss nur mal rein. Oh, double skill. <lacht> Was sagt er jetzt? <lacht> Nochmal durch. Nochmal durch. Ah, oh, ne, okay. Er hat, keinen, er hat keinen weiteren lockeren Spruch dafür. Schade. Ja, das haben wir eben gesehen. Aber wir können uns leider den Tisch nicht genau angucken. Ach, Horror. I hate Horror. Riesig hier, hä? Da könnte ich wahrscheinlich durch die Tür gehen. Ich möchte mich aber hier noch so ein bisschen umgucken. Tarotkarte habe ich gefunden. Temperance. Temperance. To be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to, or to, in, uh, sorry. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Das wieder heißt. Aber da bin ich mir noch nicht so ganz sicher, was das mit den Tarotkarten heißt oder ob ich da immer warten muss, bis sie wieder in irgendeiner Zwischensequenz erscheint und mir da was zu den Tarotkarten sagt. Ah, genau. Jetzt, wo ich das Poster hier sehe, so diese Videos die immer zwischendurch gezeigt werden, so diese, ähm, diese Tutorial-Videos, die sind auch sehr, sehr cool gemacht, so diese kleinen Zeichentrickfilmchen, die dir erklären, wie halt hier die äh, Mechaniken im Game funktionieren. Das ist eine sehr coole Idee. Hier liegt eine Grillzange. <lacht> Hier liegen ja diese Taschen, die ich holen sollte. Ich möchte mich aber erst noch hier im, im, äh, im Gebäude ein bisschen umsehen. Ach, guck an, hier sitzt noch jemand. Ach, das ist Dylan von eben, der mir, der mir nicht helfen wollte, oder? Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, ja, also. in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and... Ah, ne, es ist, two, das ist nicht Dylan, das ist sein, really sein Kumpel. Oh, yeah, right, is that, is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever, look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? No, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone, sorry. Jesus Christ, okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Okay, 
hier kann ich noch gucken, aber erstmal erstmal alles ablaufen. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Ich nehme es ich nehm's auch an. Ich nehme es auch an. Äh, weil sie hatten es ja ebenso die ähm, nochmal vorgelesen, was die Beschreibung der Tarotkarte war. Und hat dann ja irgendwie was gezeigt. Da war ja auch irgendwie was, dass da was im Auto gemacht wurde. Von irgendeinem Path Not Chosen hat sie ja auch gesprochen. Also ich denke, da kriegen wir irgendwie Hinweise drauf. Ich weiß jetzt nur nicht, äh, ob ich da mal abwarten muss, bis sie mir das erklärt. Weil ich kann mir irgendwie so aus der Beschreibung von der Tarotkarte, also das würde mir jetzt äh, erstmal keinen Hinweis geben auf irgendwas oder ähm, macht mir für mich jetzt erstmal noch keinen Sinn. Kann aber sein, dass das noch kommt. Weil irgendwie genießenden Maßen... Ist jetzt ein bisschen zu kryptisch, aber irgendwie sowas denke ich. Dass es dir bei Entscheidungen helfen soll. Also bei Until Dawn Alright. und bei den bei Dark Pictures, da hattest du ja immer so diese Visionen oder diese Great. kurzen yourself, ähm, yep. kurzen Videos, was irgendwie passieren you könnte, you was oh auch schon God. immer relativ rätselhaft war. Aber hier äh, ist es noch irgendwie okay, noch eine okay, Ecke abgehoben. Ah, oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <lacht> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. <lacht> oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. <laughs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't, okay. Her whole thing. Is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah blah blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic <clears throat> all-men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> okay, that's how I even gesehen. Uh, okay, so, um, 
total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. <laughs> you know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. Ach so, ich kann das jetzt machen. Break fuel line. Das haben wir eben gesehen, da hat sie irgendwie in der Hecke gebrannt. Steel rotor arm. You're right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, also, war er wohl der Fool, den wir eben gefunden haben. Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please, do, 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 do. Oh, Nick. Oh, Arschloch. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. <laughs> oh. Oh, Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh, freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? You know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? Oh, bad. Alter, ey. Die hacken aber ganz böse auf dem Rum, hä? Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, okay, let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where is everybody else? <laughs> Caitlin, mach mir why, Spaß. why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Abigail, okay. Aber Missy, wo ich die gerade hier zeichnen sehe, hey there, ich äh, sammle, sammle Emote-Ideen. Ich habe neulich gemerkt, dass ich hier noch vier Emotes... Oh, shit. Nein! Oh, shit. Vier Standard-Emote-Slots frei habe äh, oder frei geworden sind und zwei für animierte äh, Emotes. Also, falls du Emote-Ideen hast... Fuck me. Kannst du da gerne raushauen? Zumal ich die auch ja äh, zum Großteil halt die neuen Slots äh, äh, der Chantal und dir zu verdanken habe, weil ihr da in letzter Zeit äh, ist subbt ohne Ende. Okay, let's do it. We better not get in trouble. Ich mir dann Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? Sobald ich es hinkriege, gibt es dann noch neue Emotes, aber ich sammle dann noch Have Ideen für, weil ich nicht weiß, was ich für die no. vier ist Standard und für die zwei animierten Emotes holen soll. Beziehungsweise eins haben wir. Eins ist, eins ist das Gestreuchel, das da auf meinen auf mein Versprecher One, da basiert. Two, three. Uh. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. 
Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts! Why would this place be in the news? A scrap from the local newspaper. The North Kill Gazette. It doesn't look recent. Sometimes about a f uh, something about a fire. Was it here at Hackett's Quar Quarry? Wir haben jetzt schon diesen dieses Poster über dieses diese fahrende uh, Show. Wir haben den kaputten Hunde uh, Käfig des Hundejungen gefunden. Und jetzt hier noch was über ein Feuer. Bin mal gespannt, wie ich das alles zusammenfühle. Abigail hat eine coole Frisur, ne? Der Rucksack, der, sind das, sind das, sind, sind das, äh, sind das Flügel? Sind das, äh, äh Fledermausflügel? This was little Izzy's. <coughs> I want to play a game! <laughs> Let's get you back to Izzy. Ja, tatsächlich sind Fledermausflügel. Hey! You stop that! sehr, sehr schön hier. Ich warte jetzt so, das ist immer so, so horrorfilmmäßig erst so die Idylle und dann äh, bricht die Hölle los. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Ja, wir wollten nur alle Ecken abgehen, ob hier nicht vielleicht irgendwo noch ein Collectible rumliegt. Also hier ist nichts.
Ja, ich will erst die Runde hier noch fertig drehen. Erst noch gucken, ob wir doch noch irgendwie hier wo irgendwo was tun können. Irgendwas finden können. So viel zu gucken, aber nichts zu tun. Wird vielleicht aber später noch wichtig, kann natürlich auch sein. Schaukeln? Ne, kann man natürlich auch nicht. Da ist aber noch was. Evidence. Ah, neues Tutorial-Video. Sehr cool. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that should you uncover them could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence. And you may just prove your innocence. Or not. <laughs> Jacob hasn't seen this. Empty vial. An empty vial with an unpleasant odor. Also, stinkt. Jacob and Emma forever. Not gonna be happy that the guys <laughs> Camp song recording. Camp cabins. A recording of the Hackett's Quarry camp song from years gone by. Technology may have moved on, but the song remains unchanged. <laughs> okay. I'll tell Chris about it when we see him.
ich glaube ja, jetzt sind wir wieder in der Cabin, an der wir rausgekommen sind. Also weiter ist da nichts mehr, außer dass wir jetzt hier hinten noch entdecken konnten. Ähm. Halt das Evidence Tutorial. Und halt eben diese Fiole mit dem, mit dem stinkenden Zeug drin, die wir da gefunden haben. Okay, gehen wir zu Emma. Oh, dürfen wir Golfkart fahren? Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> It's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so... Hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Okay, come, warum nicht? <coughs> What can possibly go wrong? Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Das ist eine interessante Kette, die, die Emma da trägt, ne? So eine... Ja, wirklich eine buchstäblich eine Kette <lacht> mit einem Schloss vorne dran. Is that smoke? Definitiv. Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave it at you. Well no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All Everyone, same. Okay, jetzt sind wir zu Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. 
Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh. care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing oh, over there? Having a little need for you. I was listening to a podcast, actually. Under the house. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, Whoa. you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the <laughs> Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> it's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. Ja, wir haben ja eben auch diesen Zeitraum aus dem Fundus looking for a lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers. Ah, das ist das was wir eben gesehen haben. Figure that Im floats Prolog. around you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Cory. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> Ich wollte jetzt sagen, haben die dann nicht früher schon mal drüber gesprochen. Weil gerade so bei diesen Camps ist ja immer so, dass sie äh, Geschichten erzählen. Äh, oh, cool. Get those butts in gear. Officer Dewey. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, deliberate some luggage. <lacht> nee, aber es ist ja immer so, in den, in den Filmen so Gruselgeschichten erzählen am, am, am Lagerfeuer. Und hier gibt es eine Gruselgeschichte über das Camp und die sollen davor, darüber noch nicht geredet haben davor. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. Ryan hat What's echt up, eine DJ coole Stimme, ne? Chance I so get tief. A little charge. I want to... Have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do.
Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flippin' bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Meet you at the van, okay? So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. <clears throat> Hello? Kids are kids. You don't need to be so much here, bro. But they're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone. Why are you staying out of the way? Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like, I mean, I heard... Uh, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Listening. We're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? <laughs> oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? <laughs> What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the 
Good goddamn, are they? Please say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me. They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. The coffee does okay. Right where I left it. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> <clears throat> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude. It's just like... Kaput. <laughs> Alright, let me try. <laughs> Ich wusste gar nicht, dass die das. Ich meine, ich kenne das aus damals aus den aus den äh, Enemy Territory Spielen. Da war das auch äh, ein Ausdruck. Aber ich wusste, dass das äh, im, im, im Englischen äh, benutzt wurde da drin ist. Damn it! Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay, gerade geht er geht yeah, er bis ab, ne? You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? Yeah. Said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. 
we could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or or we could do something else. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> em, what do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told no! me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Ich wollte schon sagen, wo bleibt denn Lance Henriksen? Wollte ich nur Wasser jagen? I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Okay, ich lasse mich beim ersten Mal, beim ersten Durchlauf lasse ich mich drauf einmal. I was hoping you'd say that. Shotgun 
shells. Okay. You better be going. <clears throat> it's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? Wollen wir es mal nicht hoffen. First course, Filet au Jacob. Rich and full body. Wir haben ja gesehen, was passiert, wenn man das Fleisch der Toten isst in Until Dawn, ne? An irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well, what? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my God, I'm almost done. Okay. Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Well, it's my nix. There we go. And Viola. <laughs> Your Viola, yeah. yeah. You can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> okay. Bad. So, if I were a beer. <coughs> Where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh? How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Hmm. Think it's locked. Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm -hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, <laughs> second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Tja, wir schmeißen eine Party. Was haben wir? Zwei Melonen. Und er freut sich in Loch und Bauch, ne? Weil, ja klar, auch wenn man da Wodka einfüllen kann, aber sie müssen erstmal Wodka haben. It's all coming together, okay. These flyers are promoting a traveling show called Harum Scarum. The date listed indicates that it took place over six years ago. Also treffen wir da aber wahrscheinlich die Wahrsagerin davon, die uns da hoffentlich hilft. Wie gesagt, beim ersten Spieldurchlauf lasse ich mich mal drauf ein und lass mir helfen. Vielleicht gibt es auch da eine Trophy für, wenn man äh, sich helfen lässt, wenn man sich helfen lässt. 
Aber erstmal aus dem Bauch raus. Wie gesagt, das ist ja immer so die erste Runde bei mir so. Ohne Plan. Einfach blind durch. Und aufs Beste hoffen. Ah, das ist der eine Kerl mit Blut eingeschmiert. Hier ist eine offene Truhe, aber da können wir nichts gucken. Schränke scheinen alle leer zu sein. Discovered. Lodge Renovation Plans. Blueprints for structural repairs in the lodge chimney column. Judging by the scrawled annotations, this is not something Chris Hackett was the man. Uh, Chris Hackett has the money to action right now. Also, da müsste noch mal was dran gemacht werden. Locked. Jacob! Come check this out! Vielleicht kann er das Schloss auch knacken, deswegen. <lacht> Alrighty then. Door, buckle up, because you. Are about to meet your maker. Done. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. Mehr Melon. I wonder if this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we raid his stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um, <clears throat> human rights or whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh, hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. You look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did it? Evidence. Torn hiking bags, dashed with flecks of dried blood. Aber was hat denn das mit der Fiole zu tun? Ne? Oh. Bear to this? Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. Okay. 
I'm done. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Okay, gucken wir, dass wir den Tresor noch mal finden. <lacht> Aber erstmal gucken wir uns hier noch um. Vielleicht liegt hier noch irgendwo eine Tarotkarte rum. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Show Text. Ah, das haben wir eben schon gesehen. Vorne, ne? I'm in. Hey, very nice. Ja, ah, okay, ich hab keinen Scherz. Das war was wir eben in der Vision uh, oder in der Kristallkugel gesehen oh. haben. Fireworks? Ja, yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Ja, komm, nehmen wir mit. Wir haben, you know? Wenn wir die Knarre mit uns yeah. rumtragen, dann ist das Feuerwerk auch nicht viel gefährlicher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gut, okay, oh, wir könnten einen Waldbrand um, auslösen. Add, um, fireworks. <lacht> hey, I found these like torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops! Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops! What are butter pops? <laughs> no! What? I can't believe it! Um, okay, um... <clears throat> <lacht> Dafür hat sich die Auswahl oh von der Option schon gelohnt. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my God, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Look, they predate. Expiration dates. Well, you're gonna love them. Yeah. Oh right. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay, uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels, you can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Um, yep. Which way? Sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. 
and engage podcasts yeah all right let me guess right now you're listening to one that has eerie music fade-ins and a mysterious demeanor and a broken syllable raspy voice and a mysterious lonely guy in his mom's basement getting hard for Area 51 and Bigfoot I, I sorry not that you're into that stuff I didn't mean to mm, I mean whatever I like it anyway you know I'd give it a listen I mean I don't care either way no Ryan I'm gonna do this for you what is the podcast called bizarre yet bona fide you're trying not to laugh right now because it kind of sounds like boner, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Unbelievable. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on. What kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date, uh... Mmm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode, but... Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird, I thought I heard someone. Uh, yeah. Maybe you should have asked that on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. Give me a... Ich weiß zwar nicht, ob die uns retten, aber okay, also da können wir nicht. Können wir wohl nichts dran machen. A younger looking camp leader Chris Hackett with his two kids, Caleb and Kaylee. They look happy. Warum ist da ein Ausruf? Ah, ich hab da jetzt... Oh, da gibt's einen, Hin äh, einen weiteren Hinweis oder was für, hä? These are, the, uh, these are the same as the poster in the woods. Why does Chris Hackett have them? Was he connected to Hiram Skyrim in some way? Oh, nee, nee, nee. <lacht> uh, Clues. Whatever these posters are doing in Chris Hackett's possession, he must have forgotten to take this one down. Kaylee and Nicht schon wieder. Was gibt's beim Camp? Camp Lodge. Uh, built as a central hub of Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, the lodge is where the campers uh, where the campers congregate for meals, lessons, and indoor activities. It's also s uh, home of uh, uh, also home to our nurses station, just in case of any unlikely bumps and bruises. Abigail, Dylan, Caitlin, Nick, Ryan. Campers bunk together in the camp cabins. Supervised by the, uh, by our team of helpful counselors, the large tree that stands tall in the middle of the cabin symbolizes the growth of all our campers at Hackett's Grobby and the journey into blossoming into uh, uh, in, and the journey into blossoming Hecateers. We are uh, sorry. We are proud to stock a range of treats and snacks for our campers to enjoy during their stay at Hackett's Quarry. 
Not to mention the ingredients for our healthy meals prepared by our counselors in the lodge kitchen. Paths. Okay. Das ist mal cool. Laura tried to help Max after he was attacked in the storm shelter. Stimmt, das ist immer der, den ich genommen habe. Kann, das kann ja auch anders ausgehen. Hier kann ich so nichts machen, ne? Your, your path. Laura was honest with the cop and about the accident on the road. A fool's errand. Ah, okay. Das damals hat das mit Hatz zu tun. A fool's errand. Jacob removed the rotor arm from the minivan. Down the rabbit hole. I would choose to help Emma break into the cabin. Playing with fire. Emma choose to take the fireworks with her. You will pack it. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Okay, Falltür. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh-huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, yeah, Max and Lauren are going to have to go to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Ja, ich will wissen, was da unten ist. Egal. <lacht> Vielleicht finden wir ja auch Laura irgendwo. Ja, Laura oder Lauren? Ich glaube Laura, ne? Was down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What? 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 It's nothing. Oh. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so. Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Okay, das heißt also, wenn wir Ooh, irgendwie da unten hinkommen und die, die Leiter zur Flucht benutzen müssten, wird wahrscheinlich hier äh, Ringy dingy ding. Oh, sorry, bud. <coughs> Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Ich mag echt, äh, mag echt Ryans Stimme, ne? Der müsste Hörbücher lesen, das ist echt cool. Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Laura heißt es okay. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer.
A list of the counselors' names, personal details, and their tasks at the camp. Two names are crossed out: Laura Kearney and Max Br Max Brindley. Why did they never show up? Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Dude, what if we're out partying tonight, out in the woods, and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's Camp is over, and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if, okay, bear with me here, what if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess yeah. we would need to it's protect ourselves. Ne, weil es exactly, sein. that's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not gonna happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is, if we need it. Your call, man. So... Got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? <laughs> Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones... Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah. Okay. Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Nothing but net. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Fashion icon. <laughs> Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Okay. Geheimes Zimmer? Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. 
Okay, yeah, like what? Like, uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Mysteriöse Gestalt, die gerade die Kamera kaputt gemacht hat, das ist nix. Okay, these are boring. <lacht> genau. <lacht> Aber es ist halt eben so. So, so, Horror, so Horrorfilm like ach da ist nix oder eben auch als als Laura alleine durch den Wald getigert ist die haben hier in in in, in Horrorfilm immer ein Gottvertrauen das ist echt äh okay also da kamen wohl Briefe an für sie oder Aber am, 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 am geilsten war ja vorhin, vorhin Max, der hat Laura einfach allein im Wald rumlaufen lassen oder unten in diesem, in diesem Keller. Ich meine, er hat ja auch ein grausames Schicksal erfahren, aber saß da an der Treppe rum, ließ die allein im Dunkeln rumstolpern. Boah, scheißegal. Mach du nur, dachte der sich. Hier was bei den Kassetten? Nee, ne? Also hier gibt es also wirklich nichts zu entdecken oder was? Ne? <lacht> Alter wird mich halt ja noch weiter interessieren, aber...
First Aid Support, Wildlife Training, Max Brinley, Activities Assistant, das ist ein Sternchen dran. Oder an beiden ein Sternchen dran. Das steht aber auch Seite 1 von 2, kann ich da. Ah, Next Page, ich kann da unten drücken. Share no show, responsibilities among remaining counselors, okay. Ja, bestimmt. <lacht> Habe ich eben auch gedacht. Muss ich, muss ich ehrlich zugeben. Dachte ich eben auch, im Tisch ist auch so, da machst du wahrscheinlich irgendwie so eine Schublade auf und greifst irgendwo rein und es, 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 es geht irgendwo in so ein Holzpanel weg oder sowas. Habe ich auch gerade irgendwie gedacht. Oder vorhin schon. Yo, leave the gut alone, man. You got a boss. Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. Ryan is getting Thanks irritated. I really, really okay. want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, I told you to leave it alone twice. Yeah, sorry. Cut it out. Nice. Full up. Ich drehe noch eine Runde. Weil da lagen eben in diesem in diesem Überwachungsraum lagen auch irgendwo Kassetten rum. So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like, picked out a major, or...? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're going to do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? Da ist hier im Bad noch was. Aber man sieht, was der da für Medikamente einschmeißt, ne? Das ist schon heftig. Also ich weiß zwar nicht, was das alles. Ja, okay, Ibuprofen ist klar. Okay. Die Zahnpasta mit dem Hai drauf ist auch witzig, ne? For great white teeth. <lacht> Aber ja, es stehen hier ein Haufen Medikamente äh, rum. Also, äh. Officer Dewey hat. hat Probleme. Ja, das habe ich mir eben schon angeguckt. Was steht da? Check. Back left camera, okay. Hackett House, Woodswalk, Lodge. Haben wir, oh, ich kann, mal, ich kann mal gucken, ob es hier neue Querverweise gibt. Ne, bei Clues nicht. Ich weiß aber allerdings auch nicht, warum die Briefe jetzt kein Hinweis sind. Weil da liegen ja Briefe rum für, für die beiden, Cap äh, für die beiden äh, Betreuer, die nicht aufgetaucht sind. Warum das nicht äh, auffällt, weil wenn die nicht aufgetaucht sind... Warum sollte jemand Briefe herschreiben? Macht, das macht irgendwie niemanden stutzig hier irgendwie, ne? Ne, okay, das war's wohl. Hier wirklich nur diese Gitarre zum Angucken und sonst nichts. Mein gut, klar, hier steht ja nicht wirklich viel rum, aber. Äh, shit, nee, andersrum. 
Nee, gehen wir. Hey, so did I tell you? Dude! Right. <lacht> Nice. Full up. Also weiter laden die wohl nicht auf. Das hey, waren eben glaube ich auch schon 38, 28 und 32 Prozent. Mehr kriegen wir nicht. Die sollen wohl wahrscheinlich im Laufe Thank des Abends auch irgendwann ausfallen nochmal. Nick. Ich würde sagen, Nick läuft auch mit Abigail durch die Gegend, ne? This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. Also sehr viel Feuerholz <laughs> haben sie ja noch nicht gesucht, ne? Yeah, well, there's this also diese drei Äste, die reichen vielleicht, um gerade das Feuer anzumachen oder sowas. <lacht> Aber nicht, um es wirklich irgendwie lange, lange, lange brennen zu halten, nicht? Why don't you choose? So, glaube ich, das Anmachholz. Aber ansonsten, äh... Was nehmen wir? Rocky Road oder Shady Glade? Nehmen wir Shady Glade. Let's go this way. Ups. Oh. Oh Auf God, den Arsch okay? gefallen. Hobby okay. <lacht> Come on. Wie viele Leute sind, ne? Wir haben Nick, wir haben Abigail, wir haben Emma, äh, wir haben Jacob, wir haben Dylan, wir haben Ryan. Und jetzt hier noch Nick. Waren das alle? Ah, Caitlin. Caitlin habe ich vergessen. Caitlin sind also acht Leute. Und in dem, in dem Pack, das, das Jacob eben rausgetragen hat, waren zwölf Bier drin. Also das wird jetzt keine so riesen Party. So ein riesen Besäufnis wird es zwar nicht. Sie haben, sie haben für jeder ein Bier. Und okay, ne, ja, oder ja, eins und ein bisschen was, wenn sie die vier noch aufteilen und zwei Melonen und einen und ein, 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 ein 20 Jahre alten Snackbeutel. Also das, das, das für eine Party. <lacht> Aber gut, ja, es ist ja nicht klar, da, es ist klar, sie haben ja hier nicht mehr viel. Es war ja eigentlich auch geplant, dass sie nicht mehr anderthalb. anderthalb Anderthalb, okay, so, um, ja. Nee, also das... Ich glaube, wenn jeder noch eine, eine, eine Ibuprofen oh, yeah. von, von Officer Dewey yeah. schmeißt, dann, dann ballert es vielleicht ein bisschen. Sure. Also macht das nicht, okay. ihr Leute. Äh, kein keine, kein yeah, Alkohol, Medikamenten. Ich war jetzt nur gerade so... Um <lacht> für den Witz, aber... Also, äh, ein Besäufnis wird es nicht. Um, sorry, Jacob hat mir gesagt. About golfers because of the stroke thing. Yeah, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Jacob probably heard it from his campers. That makes so much sense. Aber besser als nichts, ne? Filthy minds. <laughs> Whoa! Just a bird. Just a bird. Ich glaube, ich nehme besser lieber den Controller wieder in die Hand. Just been a little edgy lately. Why? It's probably nothing, but ever since the campers left, I've had this weird feeling that there's someone else out there, like, watching us. Like, there are still campers here? No, no, it's, you know, just the little hairs in the back of my neck standing up, you know? Yeah. Well, it's probably nothing. Right. You're right. Da 
hinten ist eine Kiste. Ranger Box. I think it's a Ranger Box. Was ist eine Ranger Box? A box in the woods. Unlocked. Inside is a change of clothes, bottled water and supplies, provisions for a ranger, provisions for a ranger perhaps? Do these woods even have a ranger? Oh. Like a supply cache for rangers or whatever if they're out in the woods. Naked rangers? <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> Und ja, Feuerholz haben sie auch kaum, also... Firewood, was haben wir noch übers Camp? Shady Glade is one of many woodland walks through Hackett's Quarry. It's so named due to the canopy of tall trees that grow there. The dirt path through the floral undergrowth makes for scene, uh, serene <laughs> atmospheric walk through the nature. Ich will nochmal, ich da hinten sieht so aus, als könnten wir weitergehen, aber ich will trotzdem nochmal hier vorbei, ob hier nicht noch irgendwas anderes steht, außer, außer die Kiste. Ne, hier geht's wohl weiter. I think we're back near the path again. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. Mir fällt jetzt erst ihr Tattoo auf. Was hat manchmal so, es scheint manchmal so ein bisschen laggy zu sein. Auch jetzt in Momenten, wo gar nicht viel passiert, ne? 
It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Ah. Oh. Das Bild schon. Oh, ich habe jetzt nicht wie bei bei uh, so den Last of Us Moment. Lass die Finger von dem. My god, he's so Weil vielleicht ist die Mutter noch in der Nähe. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing, tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Shit, war zu früh. Oder? Ja, das kommt immer so plötzlich, ne? Ey, da hat er sich heldenhaft für sie vor die Wildsau geworfen, ne? Und wird, wird, und wird ausgelacht. <lacht> We gave her a good story to tell a pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? I got a pretty good look. Ew! I think she was coming on to me. Oh, got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> Guess we should head back. Ich will jetzt nicht pingelig sein, ne? Aber das Buch ist, glaube ich, ein bisschen größer als der Rucksack, ne? Aber ja, egal. Macht ja nichts. Spielt keine Rolle. Caitlin, ja, die haben wir auch schon ewig nicht mehr gesehen. Finally get my phone back. It's just a big dumb brick. Ah, okay, ich kann jetzt hier. Take Photograph, ich soll ein Foto, Foto machen. Ich glaube, ich hätte den Sonnenuntergang fotografieren sollen, aber. Hey Kaylin, ja. guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere <coughs> and a secret room. No, that's not. Uh, whoa, now, back up, what? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Fuck it off, man. He he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> yeah. I told you never to say hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? I'm trying to try to speak it out. 
You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. <laughs> Shut oh, up, this me. Oh, God. <laughs> Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog. Ich wollte schon, wollt schon sagen, dass die ist ja höchstens anmachbar ist. Also das, äh so gerne ich auch den, das Wortspiel jetzt machen würde. Äh, kann ich gar nicht. Ich kann irgendwie nicht nach rechts. Also wenn er guckt. Sogar, also, mit dem linken Stick jetzt auch nicht. Ich kann nicht ernst bleiben, ich muss das Wortspiel machen. Das ist nicht meine Schuld. Oh mein Gott, das kann nicht sein. The Hog of Hackett's Quarry? Was? Ich dachte, du hast diese Phrase gehasst. Big Jokes take big sacrifices. Du bist so brav. Oh, ich möchte dich einfach zu kleinen Leuten schränken und dich in meine Tasche schränken und schränken, wenn ich ein bisschen pick me up. <lacht> okay. <lacht> Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come right, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked <laughs> yeah, selection yeah. of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. Ein Controller ist genauso wie ich und hat eine Schwäche für Wortspiele. I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Hey, hey, hey. cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on, Emma. Please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Okay, Absolutely ich glaube, es, no. es kommt jetzt ein neues uh, Tutorial-Video. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Oh, come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout, first prize, Peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I know we can't make any firearms if you have a dick about it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on! All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there. But if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> okay, so. <sighs> Just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know, I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, We're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. 
All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how's your little one-up? No, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Ah. Ah, nee, das habe ich eben schon gesehen. You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. Egal. Um... You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger is past, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. Too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nice shot. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, not with Alter. this cannon blaster. That is how you get someone shot. Yeah, I wanted to say. That's no, okay. You probably wouldn't miss me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Ooh, what's that shaggy, huh? Huh? Ich habe gerade gar nichts gewählt, weil ich eigentlich gar nicht aufgepasst habe. Also entweder ist hier irgendwas buggy oder irgendwas stimmt mein Controller nicht. Blam, we thought this was over. What the what? Alter. Pop, pop. 
hot peanut butter butter pots. Tja. Caitlin hat sie gerade nass gemacht, ne? Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn. But... <laughs> well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, I. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on, I, I'm not finished. Um, Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Ja, ich kann der irgendwie nicht auswählen. Immer true. Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? Oh, komm eh. Ich möchte jetzt hier gerne die ehrliche Antwort geben, aber ich kann sie nicht geben. Naja, kann sein, dass wir vielleicht doch ein bisschen früher schon aufhören müssen, weil irgendwas stimmt hier nicht. Eben ging es mal kurz, eben hat es dann auch noch ein später was immer selber ausgewählt. Das geht nicht. We were talking about her. Oh, brother. He asked me to stop telling ghost stories. This is all. You don't really believe that, do you? Uh, I try to look at things through a certain lens, no expectation or judgment. Look, do I believe there's a little old ghost lady floating around trying to eat people? Well, well um, but she eats people now? But it's kind of fun to imagine it, right? Just don't get eaten tonight. Like really put a damper on the mood. <laughs> Do my best. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't got no turn yet. Good point. Ja, ich kann ja nicht auswählen.
Caitlin. What do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever, uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But it never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo. Still love you, bud. Woo! <laughs> okay. My turn. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> well then... Um... Uh, sorry. Nick, this is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good idea. idea. I choose Nick. Yeah. <clears throat> You're like kissing my girlfriend. Who's well. the other team? I got. It was just a game. Hey, I am nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? Ja, ich spiel lieber was anderes. Ja, aber Emma hat ja gewusst, dass sie Spaß an Nick hat, also... ...hätte jetzt nicht sein müssen. Ja, ich habe irgendwie komischerweise keine Tarotkarte gefunden. Welcome back. I am as always delighted that you're here. So, then. What more has been found? You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. Huh? That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. Vielleicht wenn ich für den anderen Pfad ge gewählt hätte, hätte ich vielleicht eine gefunden. Vielleicht würde ich auch den, den anderen Bereich, wo, so, wo, wo, wo sie das Holz gesammelt haben, besser absuchen müssen. Wie schon gesagt, ähm, hier machen wir einen Cut und machen morgen weiter. Vielleicht gibt es morgen auch ein Update. Äh... Was, ähm, ja, dass das vielleicht nochmal mit der Auswahl richtig funktioniert, weil irgendwie komisch, dass das zwischendurch nachher nicht mehr, nicht mehr funktioniert hat. Weil der Controller, kann ich mir nicht vorstellen, dass da jetzt irgendwas, äh, äh, kaputt ist, weil eben beim Zielen hat der Stick ja noch funktioniert. Also ist da irgendwas, irgendwas komisch. Aber, macht auf alle Fälle tierisch, tierisch Laune, ähm, so viele Personen, die miteinander interagieren, aber ich finde auch die Gespräche cool. Es wirkt irgendwie, wenn die miteinander reden, flüssig, also nicht nur so, also, ja, der, der eine sagt was, ich wähle dann eine Gesprächsoption und dann kommt irgendwie nochmal was anderes. Es wirkt wirklich wie ein, wie ein Gespräch. Auch auf der PS4-Version sehen die Charaktere echt sehr, sehr cool aus. Und, ähm... Ja, es macht, es, 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 es macht Spaß. Also es hat so die bekannten Elemente aus Until Dawn und eben aus den, ähm, aus den, ach wie heißt es nochmal, äh, aus der Dark Pictures Anthology. 
aber ist halt nochmal so ein bisschen so ein bisschen abgeändert. Äh, wie gesagt, so das, was es ist ja auch cool, das zu, das zu übernehmen, was, was auch funktioniert, was auch Spaß macht. Aber es ist halt eben auch nicht nur das. Es, es fühlt sich wirklich nach, 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 nach mehr an. Und äh, man merkt jetzt, dass man so langsam in die, wie soll ich sagen, in die heiße Phase reinkommt. Wir haben so jetzt das, 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 das Mysterium, wir haben so diese, diese Geistergeschichte, The Hack of Faggot Scrubby. Und ähm, den mysteriösen Polizisten mit äh, Chris Hackett war ja auch ähm, irgendwas, dass die also aufgeregt sind. Wir haben verschwundene Personen und äh, die mysteriöse Wahrsagerin, die uns da hilft. Wir haben jetzt die Tutorial-Phase abgeschlossen. Wir haben alle Tutorials gesehen, haben auch schon so ein paar Sachen gefunden. Also sozusagen, ähm, wie gesagt, Mysterium ist aufgebaut. Und wir haben noch, stimmt, wir haben noch diese zwei geheimnisvollen Fremden, die da im Wald jagen. Und jetzt bin ich echt gespannt, wann alles so zusammengeführt wird. Beziehungsweise wir haben auch viel gelernt über so diese ähm, zwischenmenschlichen Personen, äh, 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 über die Personen, was da zwischenmenschlich zwischen denen abgeht. <lacht> halt ja so, so, das ist jetzt auch, aber auch nicht nur so, so, so Horror-Teenie-Romanzen-Ding. Ähm. Es funktioniert, also für mich funktioniert es auf alle Fälle. Mag auch die Machart, so dieses, habe ich ja schon gesagt, so dieses 90er Video, äh, Computer, äh, äh, Overlay, Dings hier, was man jetzt auch hier, auch hier sieht. Ja, bin echt sehr, sehr, sehr gespannt. Will jetzt, wie gesagt, aber wenn ich wirklich hier, äh, limitiert bin mit meinen Auswahlmöglichkeiten, möchte ich jetzt halt hier aufhören und gucken, wie es halt weiter, morgen weitergeht. Ja, wie schon gesagt, ähm, da gibt es keine große Frage, was wir morgen machen. Wir werden jetzt erstmal bis zum ersten Playthrough The Crowry durchsuchten und dann gucken wir mal. Ich habe ja mal irgendwas gelesen, dass es wohl äh, sehr, sehr, sehr viele Enden gibt. Also ob wir alle erspielen werden, weiß ich nicht. Beziehungsweise ob ich alle im Stream auf alle Fälle erspiele, weiß ich nicht. Aber so ein paar Playthroughs machen wir so das Typische. Erstmal so das Playthrough aus dem Bauch raus. Dann wird es wahrscheinlich eins geben, wo wir gucken, wenn alle überleben können, dass alle überleben. Und natürlich wie immer, was wir bei den anderen auch gemacht haben, wenn alle sterben können, dann lassen wir auch alle sterben. Und das übliche Trophy Hunting und und und. Ne, bisher finde ich sehr, sehr cool. Charaktere sind also für mich auch glaubwürdig. Ecken und Kanten haben sie. Ähm, was halt eben so, so game-mäßig als ab und zu mal so ist, wie gesagt, jetzt eben mit den, mit den Auswahlmöglichkeiten, das ist irgendwie buggy. Ähm, und es leckt halt ab und zu mal. Ihr habt ja mal vielleicht das gehört, ab und zu mal hört sich so an, als würden die Charaktere stottern, wo sie so manchmal letzte Wortteile äh, äh, oder beziehungsweise Satzteile nochmal wiederholen. Komischerweise. Und bei Nick fällt das manchmal so auf, das sieht ab und zu mal so aus, äh, als wäre, würde das Gesicht stehen bleiben. Aber ähm, nichtsdestotrotz ist halt eben Release-Tag, äh, kommt vielleicht noch ein, noch ein Update jetzt noch über Nacht. Aber ansonsten, das ist halt aber auch Meckern auf hohem Niveau. Es macht Spaß, es reißt gleich mit. Und ich denke, wenn es so weitergeht, hat es alles, was es braucht, um echt ein klasse Ding zu sein. Bin jetzt echt sehr gespannt, wie es weitergeht. Aber für heute war es das. Ich 